can't quit. The Justice League doesn't quit. Uh, wow. Holy shit, is this movie dark. And the pun is not intended. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Ray Toby. And um, yeah, I just finished watching Justice League Dark Apocalypse like seven minutes ago. And I'm, I'm lost for words, honestly. I was meant to make a different video today, as I said on my Twitter, but because this movie came out and there's another TV show I want to talk about as well that's coming out very soon, that video's been pushed back a bit. But that's not what today's about. Today's about Justice League and why I think it's probably the darkest and grittiest DC movie that's ever been made. And uh, yeah, let's talk about it. So as you know, in my previous videos, if you watch them, how I structure my reviews is I talk about five points, the plot, the characters, the villains, the action, the pacing, and I'll probably give a conclusion at the end because this is how I roll. And yeah, mainly because it's such a great movie and those were the five main things I want to talk about. So the first thing is the plot, of course. So for the plot, it's pretty much very understandable and basic. Like you can't get lost with it. It's a great story overall to tell like a story where the superheroes lose against Darkseid and everyone is just like really being down. The majority of the earth is gone and only the people who you like least expect to be there to be fighting for the world are there and you know it's it's a great deal of characters to work with of course we've seen Constantine at the forefront in the Justice League Dark movie as well we saw a bit of Raven in the Teen Titans movies as well and uh, Superman is at the key part of this as well since he's one who's trying to save the world again even though he's lost his powers so overall the plot was just very basic and it was good it was a great understandable plot and i don't really have much to say about that the pacing was done really well in this movie like they it wasted no time with any of the people who are irrelevant or some of that i'm not saying in the previous movies they did that but it continued to move forward and forward and it was going at such a quick pace but it wasn't going too quick that you'd get lost it was going at a very you know decent quick pace and like it, that's what made the movie made me feel on edge because not only is the stakes higher but it also feels like the movie is trying to you know get you on this ride and trying to keep you moving forwards and the pacing just really added to the intensity of the movie and that's what i feel like made it great so now we're on to the characters superman and constantine and raven are the three characters i feel like this movie heavily focuses on throughout the whole runtime I feel like with Superman, of course, he's lost his powers and he's basically a man now and he's still trying to fight and trying to redeem himself after the whole plan to fight Darkseid ends horribly and obviously he feels responsible for that. So, you know, he's got to give it, he's got to give it his all. Plus he's Superman, so he, he's never been much of a selfish character, so he definitely goes out of his way to save the world one more time. Uh, Constantine as well. Constantine, he does quite a bit in this movie. We see him at his low point and we get to understand that he really wants a future with Zatanna and of course in the movie that doesn't really work out but you know he's still a hero at the end of the day so I'm, I was really impressed with Constantine's character in the movie. And finally Raven. Raven was really good as well. Of course I liked how they did the Raven and Robin relationship tease. I thought that was a really good um, break from all the intensity and all the violence and gore throughout the movie and we finally get a human moment between Raven and Robin where they just kind of embraced how they feel for, for each other that's not a spoiler it's in the trailer but yeah those are the characters when it comes down to the action and the animation the animation for the uh fight scenes and all that stuff was fairly decent of course it's a dc animated movie so i'm not expecting some really glorious fighting scenes like how you'd see in anime but of course every fight scene was entertaining but where they really tried where they really like went all in was when it showed all the gore and the grotesque like violent scenes and people getting decapitated and guts like splewing out and everything like that it's craziness like they really tried the and that's why i really feel like the animation shined its brightest when it came down to showing this gritty world and how things are just things are just terrible the rest of us didn't last much longer <laughs> So 
yeah, I feel like the animation did a really solid job throughout the movie. Finally, the villains of the movie, Darkseid and Trigon. Darkseid was OP as hell, so not much change there. In the first movie, Justice League War, he wasn't that strong. Of course, he got beaten by like a small handful of the members of the Justice League. And now in this movie, they got pretty much everybody and he wiped the floor with everybody. So he's been juicing up throughout the movie. So yeah, that's, that's Darkseid. Trigon felt like a bit of a last resort because obviously, even when Superman gets his powers back, he was wasn't really doing much to dark side so they call in Trigon and then Trigon does what he does best so it did feel a bit like a, a last minute with Trigon but overall the villains were sort of great dark side of course bit of a bland motivation he wants to destroy earth or rule earth or something like that and that's pretty much it nothing much has changed when it comes to dark side's motivation but overall you know great villains now those were the five things but there's also two other things i want to talk about in the movie which had kind of had me like huh that's interesting and Huh, okay, that's a bit strange. So the strange part about this movie was, well, it's why I noticed in all the other DC movies is that in the background, they're adding all these other characters into the movie, which everyone would just be like, oh, hey, that's, that's that character. Oh, that's that character. Oh, I know that character. Like that's all well and good. But what confuses me is like, where did they come from? When did they get here? Like we never got to see like when they actually joined the team or stuff like that. I mean, of course with an example is Teen Titans, the Judas contract at the end, we got to see Wonder Girl and all those other characters join the team but then suddenly in this movie we've got like 30 more characters into the team and I'm just like whoa where did these guys come from and trust me when I saw Kid Flash I was like holy shit Kid Flash is there but it's not like it matters because as you know everybody gets murdered so that's one thing and the last point I want to talk about is how this movie has major Avengers Endgame vibes to it like for example how if it's going to fight the villain it ends up terribly and the consequences are dire like half the planet is almost destroyed majority of the heroes are dead and it's just like a really really like strong like this is it this is the end I really like that about the movie but of course like I said it's different it takes DC has its own twist to it and it makes it more gruesome and more like realistic and more serious than it was in Endgame and that's what I really have to commend the movie for. Overall in conclusion guys please watch this movie it's really great think of it as DC's version of Endgame but the stakes are higher and of course it's a lot more gritty and a lot more violent so please when you get the time watch it you won't regret it anyway guys i'm off i'm gonna go watch the movie again but i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did then leave a like comment about the movie if you've seen it or not and perhaps consider subscribing to about anime movies tv shows and games as well so if you're interested then check that out on my channel and um yeah i'll see you next time people have a good day